got another achievement, not one inch. Yep, and I you know, also got fast attack and fleet of foot. Oh, I have probably, I probably have all, all the data. I have those already. That would have been a blow. So. No arrays of this type have been made in two millennia. That is correct, sir. We no longer have the technology to make these arrays. Losing one is a blow the Imperium never fully recovers from. It still remains unclear what the Eldar hope to gain by provoking the Orcs. Whatever their purpose, the Eldar are using all their trickery to disrupt communications outside the sector. We are uncertain how they are managing this, but our astropath described their interference as a shadow across the warp. A shadow across the warp. Those were the we must have something else to do rather than listen, you know? Exact words, Cyrus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have more immediate problems, however. Mech Bad Zappa is mounting another offensive on the capital, and I need to see to our defenses. Secure Typhon quickly. I could use you back here soon. Thul out. Why so concerned with the ravings of Astropath, Cyrus? No reason. I just hope that casting a shadow across the warp is an ability the Eldar truly have, for all our sakes. Okay. Um... Get rid of that. That's okay, not... Cyrus levels up. Yeah, Thaddeus has leveled up as well. Surprise, surprise. He uh, didn't do anything. No, but he gets a little bit of XP. Why? Okay, do we do want to do this one as well? And uh, oh, have you got uh, oh, you've got the master crafted grenades on you, don't you? Yes, that's what you've got. Uh, there we go. I made life better for you long term. And you shall have. There. So I just now has Mercer Strike. Uh, kill. Right. Next, we got Crimson Immortality. Oh, yes, we're just going to give it to him. We're going to give it to Thaddeus once he was able to use it. Yes, we was. Uh, that's it for gear, I suppose. Um, I don't know, is there anything else? That's it, really, isn't it? So. Yes, sir. Yeah. Fair enough. That was quick. <laughs> Cyrus is. Gonna have that. You can make use of that much more than anyone else at this point. The so, Tarkus is he's good. He's good to go. Uh Avatus, he's he's alright. Um Yeah, that's it. Alright. Awesome. So do you want to do the next one? Or do you wanna leave it for next time? Um we might as well, we're fairly short. Yeah, we might as well. We might as well finish that finish out this day. Yeah. Alright, and awesome. Uh, this will roll up to be episode 7. So, joy! Uh, target is vulnerable to hand to hand combat, so that will be me then I'm to smack him silly. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Warp cool. spiders are nasty. Oh, well. Especially in season 7, episode 7, whatever the hell they call it now these days. The I haven't tried the latest ones actually. I think I last used them in um, version six. Mm. But yeah, those weapons are pretty nasty now. Because yeah. they um, changed the latest codex that I've got. They changed the rules for the death spinners and the shuriken weapons. Where if you roll a six on two wounds on the wound rolls, and it's an instant kill with um, armor piercing of maximum or something crazy like that. By the sounds of it. Just a one single squad of warp spiders can roll up to a uh, demonic prince and batter his ass. In that sense, that's what it sounds like to me. Yep, they still get the invulnerability saves or whatever, but um, they can punch your armor. If you, if you roll a load of sixes, you can um, then basically you get no armor save. Mm. Okay, uh, I want to capture the wrong one. Oh, I want to capture that. The beacon thing over here. Okay. Because then we can get some extra goodies and 
Shit. Oh, hey, oh, warp spiders. Right, we got two warp spiders over there. Yeah, it's randomly two. Oh god. That's why I hate about them. Just fucking move so quick. Yeah. But then a chainsaw to the back kind of sorts well, them out. They can do a warp jump, but it just teleports across the field. Yeah. Oh. See, they can do that in tabletop, but there's a risk that they can get swallowed up by the warp. Yep. And because you have to roll for the distance, if you misjudge the distance and end up warping into a piece of terrain, then you can lose the squad. Yeah, because it's, so um, it it's, yeah, it's 2d6 for every time they jump. Yeah. Which is... When you think about it, it's fairly far. It is, yeah. If you roll well, if you roll shit, it can then. Be, but if you roll, uh, if you roll two ones. <laughs> roll snake eyes, then you've got issues. Because yeah. there is usually a reason why you're going to jump. If you don't get away, then you're usually going to die. Oh, are they banshees. Banshees, banshees. I love banshees, but I just haven't been able to make use of them in the latest version. Because. They do all their damage in the first round, but because they're only three strength against anything that's a four toughness, they're pretty weak. They, they, well, they're killing on fives, aren't they? If I remember yeah, how the table exactly. goes, yeah, I was going to say they don't. Ah, uh, commander's dead. Psst. Just going to put it out now. Which Boop. is a bit, which is a bit silly because they're like the specialist melee you do limits. Yeah, I think what balances oh god, what balances them off is the fact they get power swords and all that shizzle, so Yeah. That's the one So he does kinda of, so he does that kind they of all have power swords. He does kind of balance out. And the trouble is if they don't wipe out the squad in the first round of combat, then they're going to get wiped out in the second round pretty Yeah. Much. By the sounds of it, it they were like they're like the Gurkhas of 40k. Oh, shit, I've to see some birds. Yeah, kind of. Gurkhas are just amazing. There's a uh, story of a uh, of a Gurkha on the defense. Oh, he was on patrol for his uh, squad. Uh, it was on watch duty. That's what. That's what I'm after. And he and his squad got attacked by uh, some insurgents. And the one guy alone with his, uh, one ceremonial knife that he had on him, he killed 17 of them and defended his entire squad. And apparently, Abbas, where was he? Ooh, oh, good. he's coming. Oh, wow. Very slowly. Wow. I trust this was worth the effort. It was. With this salary in our hands, we can redeploy more quickly. If we can all... Give me that sniper. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Yes, Gurkhas are nasty sods. You don't want to mess with them. <laughs> Oh god, warp spider. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um just gonna have to heal now, I suppose. Got another group just up to the um, northeast. Yeah. Northwest even. That's him. And poop de poop poop poop. <laughs> That's one way to do it, I suppose. Might as well uh, kill some of them in the process. Oh, annoying warp spiders. This obviously wasn't one of your artillery strikes because it actually went where it was supposed to and didn't keep on hitting your own guys like in bolt action. Oh, believe me, my own artillery officer has had his more than fair share of being shot by me. Fucking traitor. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing happens to me when I use airstrikes, which is why I don't, I don't bring air observers. Oh, uh... Sometimes we play two-on-two -two games, and um, the person whom I'm playing with it gives me the um, air observer, and I'm like, don't do that, because I know I'll roll a one on the result chart. Oh, uh, we've all been there. So says, nah, you'll be alright, and he gives me to them, and then when I use them, I end up rolling a one on the result chart. Mm. I'm being very brave for Blaze of Glory 2. I'm taking, I'm using my Brits, but I'm going Daredevil. I'm taking an M7 Priest and a M10 Wolverine, so I'm using them to use two platoons. And oh, sniper up in the building. Uh, yeah, I'm still building my British commandos. Once I've got those, I might try and um, come up with a force for uh, some competition that's happening at the time. Are you doing a normal British British platoon, or are you going to do a 42 commando list? Um, I'm not sure yet. Because uh, 42 commando list is very I'm powerful. Trying to do a commando list. There's a uh, there's a special theatre army list for the 42 commandos, published by Warlord. Yeah. I'll send you the link to yeah, that. I think it's that one in the supplements, isn't it? Yeah. It's you can only get it from Warlord Direct. Yeah. But, uh, I think I know the supplement you mean. Mm. I think I've seen it. Yeah, friend of mine, Simon. He's got he's got a, a pure commando force, and it's it's deadly. At 500 points, it's very deadly. But yeah, it's, yeah, what, yeah. it's, what, it's what you get. Well, with what I've got, I think I can get up to about 700 points. I don't know if I can quite get a thousand. I probably need some. Um, armor support for that. Uh, if you want to go armor support for commandos then take a firefly. <laughs> you don't get much. Take a firefly okay. and an AEC Mark III. You don't get much more, th more thematic than that with commandos. You really don't. <laughs> or a priest. Priests are yeah. badass. And um, by the way, anyone who's watching, sorry we keep on going off on a tangent and talking about bolt action. <laughs> It's just a downside better than uh, Games Workshop. We, we both play a lot of these strategy games. We end up talk, having conversations about these games. And what with this being a war game, it kind of uh, lends itself to it. Yeah. And as I say, it's just absolutely better than Games Workshop stuff, to be yeah, honest. The Exarch down there. Yeah, better, yeah, they are. Better priced, uh, better models, debatable. But. A dance like fairer well, depends what people price want. I mean, um, people might want the fantasy sci-fi magic thing. Yeah, then there's, uh, I think there's Kings With of Bolt War action, and... It's... Well, there's definitely Kings Actually, of War yeah, and stuff there's that Gates out. of Antares or whatever it is, which is kind of sci-fi-ish. Yeah, oh my god, don't even... Go. Of 40k. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty much the, uh, there's the Warp Spider. There he is. The, uh, Gates of Antares, it... It looks good. I've seen some of the models when I went for the interview at Warlord. Yeah. Uh, it's just that I've seen their pricing structure for for it, and I've uh, full back. Oh. From the pricing structure you find, yep. <laughs> it's very reminiscent of Games Workshop pricing, and it's like, ouch. Yeah. Have you seen the term? I, I did notice that actually when looking at them today. Mm. Yeah, because uh, you played that demo game with uh, that got chap, didn't you? The, uh, the other week. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, eh, so. yeah. So from what I've seen, the models don't look too bad. I haven't played a game of this. Hmm. I'm not, not sure how I feel about the fact that they're using die tens instead of die sixes. Mm, well, Frostgrave runs on it. The thing is, they're um, a lot more expensive to get a whole load of die tens. Your well, Frostgrave runs on a, on a D12. Yeah, but you need to roll large numbers is of it them. D12. Uh, D, is it D12 or is it D20? No, it's D12. Uh, for the most part, with Frostgrave, you need to have about tops of three D12s. So that's it. Yeah. 
You know, that's the thing with the um, gates of the time, as you're rolling like 10 to 20 dunks, tents. Okay, do you want to take out this guy and I'll try and get the warp up spiders around? Yeah, sure. Sars is on his own, so... I would love to give you assistance, but, you know... Okay, Tarkus is out. Tarkus? Why? What's wrong with him? No, he's... Um Okay, I he was on like low health. I he was back and I told I, him to treat, and now I can't unretreat. Yeah, which Force Grand is dead. Okay, Avatus is out too. <sighs> this is not going too well. <laughs> uh, I'd wait. Do I, do a collective assault? Yeah, that's rather than I'm gonna hang about up here. Yeah, yeah. We've almost gone in though. Oh, that's true. They do annoyingly, though technically correct. They do reheal themselves. Like just regenerate their health, which makes some sense. All right, so this is good to go. So is just waiting on answers. Him and his fucking heavy bolsters, for God's sake. Okay, I'm gonna try and get Avatus onto that ridge, actually. Yeah, if you stick him just okay. on the edge, that'd be great. Alright, let's go. Actually, I'm not sure if he's got the range from there. Might have to move him. Bloody BL, Tarkus is down. Got him. <laughs> I used a uh, demolition charge and then a sniper shot to finish him off. Nice. I'm fairly sure, I'm not entirely sure if the demolition charge did anything, but it looked cool. So. It did look cool. So now we have some more loot and a blind grenade pla plaque. Oh god, pack. <laughs> plaque. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm terrible. Uh... <laughs> oh. I, to be honest, we could have got a lot more uh, kills out of that. But me. No matter. Yeah. We've got a new sniper rifle and I have an iron halo for the force commander. And tarantula beacon. Cute. Yep. Excellent work, Commander. Alright, I think three episodes will be enough for now. Yeah. Just wanna add all this gear on before we end up forgetting to do it. Yeah. I'll probably be getting episode four up finally. <laughs> yeah. I've just uploaded an XCOM video earlier today. I don't want to upload too much in one day. Yeah, I watched that. It's like, he came up on my phone saying, oh, <laughs> you've uploaded it. I was like, watching it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you to to yeah. give me a flesh wound, you bastard. Yeah, I haven't recorded <laughs> three <yet. laughs> yeah, sorry about that. You're not really, are you? They were targets closer to them than you, but they, they all decided to shoot at you and not the one who was right in front of them. I was Is like, really? You're all shooting at him? It's just because I'm so badass. They, they must just not like you. <laughs> I'm just badass. To That's be all fair, it is. you did get three kills in that round, which is more than anybody else got. And I got a promotion as well. Let's not forget about that. You did. Well, <laughs> everybody got promotion, but yeah, you did. I didn't get promotion. Well. <laughs> I didn't know everyone got got promotion. I was paying more attention to what to what uh, uh, to what I was doing. To be honest. <laughs> 
I think in XCOM, as soon as you make a kill, you get a promotion to squaddy. Uh, um, I think it's the amount of XP you get or the amount of kills. Yeah, so it's something like that. But right at the start, you need very little to get promoted. So. Yeah, you need to get a kill. And if you just naturally shit at shooting, then yeah. Yeah. You don't forget what I told you about it earlier. Because if you forget all that, then you're going to be in for a very long casualty list. <laughs> it's okay. I've played the original XCOM. I think I can handle it. Yeah, there. If you say so. <laughs> if you say so. XCOM, I've seen some of the playthroughs on XCOM 2. I have the reload button if I get into too much danger. So you oh, that's just <laughs> cheesy. That's just cheesy and filthy. Shame. No, Shboo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing on Iron Man mode. <laughs> oh, yeah. that'd be interesting to see. <laughs> yeah. yeah let's, let's have a play with these blind pack things next time. Um, try that. There we go. I've given Tarkus okay. the tarantula turrets. Cyrus has the blind grenade pack. And yeah, everyone seems hunky dory. Alright, awesome. So. That's the end of this uh, recording session. Uh, we've got episodes 5, 6 and 7 done. Uh, oddly enough. But, yeah, can't re can't complain. Um, if you've done anything wrong, then please let us know in the comments below. In the respective <laughs> videos. Yeah. Uh, I'm expecting a load of those, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, we're terrible at this game. What could we have possibly done wrong? <laughs> keep getting ourselves killed. And using Thaddeus. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, that's... We had to at the start. Yeah. That seems how I'll ever be really using him personally. But, uh... Yep. Yeah. Uh, if there's anything you want us to do, any gear changes, swaps around, anything like that, uh, then please let us know. We do appreciate the feedback. And... Uh, Unless it's kicked me out of the game, in which case, don't. <laughs> yeah. Don't, because it's like, it's awful. <laughs> trying to try do this campaign alone is just a nightmare, though that might have something to do with the fact I'm playing on prime match difficulty. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, guys, thanks for joining us, and, uh, yeah, see you next time.